Uh, Kamoko, you uh, you tweeted earlier this week that you're kind of patiently waiting to be unleashed. Do, do you feel like you're full strength, ready to go, ready to play more snaps? Yeah, I'm just, you know, just waiting for my opportunity um, for them to put me out there. Um, you know, trust the coaches and their decision. Um, you know, just, you know, having played for so long, just, you know, just trying to be, you know, try to be involved and, you know, just be a part of the team and, and do what I can to help the team. Have you been pleased with how your ankles responded, even in the limited snaps you've gotten these first two weeks? Yeah, um, I built a lot of confidence in my ankle um, throughout um, practices and, um, you know, gradually, you know, feeling a lot, you know, a lot confident and just, you know, seeing improvement in my ability and starting to see, you know, my bed start to come back and uh, certain things I did last year starting to, you know, improve. Steven Holder. Hey, Kamoko. Um, so what, what are your coaches telling you? Are, have they given you any indication that, that more playing time might come or are you just kind of waiting to see what happens or do you have an idea? Um, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, you know, in practice, you know, when they put me out there, um, just knowing my assignment, uh, my technique and just improving my, you know, my technique and just, you know, try to get back in a, um, in a groove and just doing what I can, you know, to get the, um, gain the co coach's trust and knowing that my assignment and stuff like that when they're ready to play me and, you know, I'm just, you know, going to be ready to go. You, you mentioned confidence a minute ago. Uh, I imagine after being out for so long, that's a big um, obstacle you have to, to get over. Do you feel like, you know, mentally you have that confidence in, in the ankle and, and can really let yourself go when you get out there? Yeah, most definitely. Um, it started, you know, everything starts with practice, you know, um, practice, you know, how you practice is how you're going to do it in the game. So I felt, you know, I felt what I like, I felt like what I did in practice was um, good and coaches see what I did in practice, you know, um, talk to the coaches, they talk to me and give me feedbacks and saying, you look, you look a lot better. Uh, just keep improving, just, um, just trust the process. So I'm, um, that's what I'm doing. Um, when they're ready to put me out there, you know, I'm just going to do, you know, what I've been doing. So two more, Jim Ayala. Yeah, Kamoko, I know that that's how you feel, but when you watch yourself on, on tape, do you, do you feel like you're watching the old you? I know it's only been 15 snaps really, but do you, do you kind of get that sense when you're watching yourself? Uh, you know, just take repetition on me, uh, just constantly, you know, getting back in the groove. I feel like I'm not you know, like how I was, you know, that me was hundred percent, but uh, I feel like that's where, um, I'm seeing is, is gradually improving as the weeks go went by. Last one here, George Bremer. Come on, a lot of times when you talk about a, a quarterback like Deshaun Watson, they, they talk about defensively, you need to match him with an equal athlete. Do you feel like you were drafted for games like this? You're on this roster to, to face guys like Watson? Yeah, I mean, I remember my rookie year, um, um, I played against him. I gave him, I was in his face plenty of times. So, I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not a surprise for me. Um, I know how he is, how, how, he, how he is as a player. So uh, we've been, you know, game plan, uh, game, game planning, and you know, trying to, you know, improve the schemes and and just for him, you know, how to get him as fast, you know, as fast as we can as a team, as a D line.